I say I know you know you are. I know you know you are one of your friends. One thing I like about iPolo is they make miners that are a great entry level, great yes. for beginners, hobbyists, and then also great for large scale mining farms. So, right. wait, can you tell us a little bit about iPolo and maybe uh, some of the future direction of the company? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. Um, so we are actually really focusing on the home segment because uh, we see a strong growth on the retail segment of a lot of newcomers. People want to join the uh, mining industry, but however, the barrier for mining farm and co-location is really high. So we make those mini models, uh, which is Wi-Fi capable, and it only consumes about 200 watts, uh, less than 300 watts of power with 300 mega hash on the Ethereum, on the ETH algorithm. So you can really uh, make your home into a mini farm if you want, right? You can hook up like 5, 10, 20 units at home uh, or at office. So we call it a decentralized mining, but we also have is the full-size machines. Our full-size machine use exactly the same chips. It's about 12 times more hash rate, 12 times more power. It's targeted for mining farm use, like professional full-size, full-on container solutions, right? So, but you also have a chance with the, with the mini ones. We've been getting very popular with those models with our retail market. Uh, we are really dedicated ourselves to make it into Wi-Fi capable, uh, to do a lot of features that you can use more conveniently um, at home or, or more accessible to make it for everyone. And our price point is very entry level. Our back, uh, back end operating system is very user friendly. So um, there's more to come. There's a lot more news coming with iPolo. Uh, I can't talk about it right now, but there's more new products coming out uh, in the next couple months uh, with the company. And our parent company of Nano Labs just got listed on NASDAQ last week. So we're looking forward to expand our market globally, especially in the US, North America, US and Canada. Uh, we have a, a repair center in North Carolina. We have a repair center in Singapore, China, and in Europe, Hungary, Europe. So South America, with South America coming up. So we're really expanding our businesses. All right, Wei. Thank you. That was great.